guys today we'll be doing a review on the new wet n wild silk finish lipsticks i think they're about like 24 on the market but i just got nine because they ran out as soon as they came out and on my walgreens and walmart everything runs out super fast but i managed to pick up these and i will review and swatch them for you so you can see the consistency the color payoff and all that good stuff so if you want to know more about these lipsticks then keep on watching okay so starting off with the packaging it looks like this it has an oval shape on the front and it has their sign wet and wild and pretty much it's the same packaging plastic and everything uh, the only thing that changes is you know uh, the front that has an oval shape I got this for 97 cents but I think they retail for about 99 so it's pretty much on the same price range so these are called the silk finish lipsticks because they claim to have better packaging a new formula which includes vitamins a and e aloe vera and macadamia oil i believe so let's get on with the swatches so the first lipstick i have here is in 503c will you be with me and it is um pinkish nude color i love my nudes and let me go closer so i can apply it excuse the lighting for the last couple of weeks it has been really gloomy and if I don't film this right now I will probably never film it until the weather calms down but I'm not complaining I love this cold and gloomy weather so this is how the color looks like it's a beautiful pinky nude color I love it and it does look silky and creamy So it looks like that it does have a creamy texture to it and it does feel silky and it feels moisturizing as well just like you're applying a lip balm so that's amazing for the winter time the next one is called a short affair and it's this pale pink nude color it looks like that Okay, so the color payoff on this one is really sheer. It's more like a gloss, so correct me if I'm wrong. But the color payoff on this one is not that pigmented. But it is, again, like the other one, silky, creamy. The next one I have here is called Breeze. So this is more like a goldish brown color. It looks like that. So this is definitely a shimmery color. It is really metallic like. I like it. It's fairly pigmented. So the next one is called Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. It looks like this. It is definitely a fuchsia color. Hot pink. Beautiful color. So the next one is called Black Orchid and it's like a like a dark burgundy 
color. The next one is called Cherry Frost, red color and it also has a little bit of shimmer in it. I don't know if you can see the sparkly glitter. Then the next one is called What's Up Doc. So it is kind of like a red orange color. And the last one I have here is Blind Date. It's kind of similar than Black Orchid, but Black Orchid has more of a brown undertone. Okay guys, so overall I love these lipsticks. I have used them for a week, I believe, and like I said, they're really rich, they're really creamy. You definitely don't need to wear a lip balm under it. Uh, if you want to, you can do it, but they're, they are extremely moisturizing. And for people who have uh, dry lips, these lipsticks are for you. I mean, the color payoff is amazing. Uh, some some don't have a super vibrant color payoff, but most of them do. So that's amazing. I mean, for a dollar, you can not go wrong with these lipsticks. I definitely love them more than their regular ones, their matte ones. They are still amazing, but they tend to dry my lips more. So these have a rich, creamy texture the color payoff is amazing the price is great and before i leave don't forget to enter my 1000 subscriber giveaway it's still open it will end the 24th of this month thank you everybody for entering i am definitely reading all your comments so i'm trying to thumbs them up as much as i can so yeah that's about it Thumbs up for my second review, which was this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye!